about uh, this individual. Yeah, uh, I thought she, uh, she was a so-called a teacher in third grade. Someone let me know that was her sister. Anyway, her and her sister had these big uh, overgrown uh, jaws, you know, jaw lines, you know. Anyway, I, I didn't know it till 2011, 2010, and she, uh, she found me, uh, and it was a sex site, actually. XXX Black Book, but I didn't know it was her. Two years later, and uh, we talked for like a week or two weeks. We never met. She got my cell phone number, and a uh, year or two went by. It was like 2011, 2012. I don't know which year. And I was like, Yahoo chat with her. I'm pretty sure it was her, but I didn't see her. I saw Lisa, Lisa Wiley from Massachusetts. And um, and then I figured out that it was her. But the way she did, she said, you know, things like, you know, she wanted me to do push-ups, and I think I did like 20. She said, oh, I only carry 16. And facial mannerisms. And it just so happened a day or two prior, or three days prior, I contacted her, and she never contacted me fully back. You know, I wrote her a message on Yahoo. So I saw Lisa, and uh, she said something along the line. I was like, I just, by the way, I just took my Zyprexa like 30, 45 minutes prior to that. If anybody took a Zyprexa, uh, you know, uh, I was prescribed because I had bipolar disorder. And uh, 45 minutes in, I, 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 you know, it was getting me to sleep. So like, I'm going to sleep. I uh, took my pill, my Zyprexa. And she's like, oh, it's, you know, it's, you know, my day off, and, uh, and you're going to sleep. And Lisa White and never had a job. You know, for years she didn't have a job. She was depressed. Even then she wasn't working. So that's why I figured out it must have, it must have been her. You know? Whether she was the, the one that taught me in uh, third grade in Christopher Columbus 15 school, I don't know, or was her sister, I don't know. But she was a dermatologist. I forgot what, what her first name actually is. But there was another thing happened with her. And I think I was over her house, except I didn't know. I mean, a lot of times, I think I just saw her once or twice on video. One was on Yahoo chat, actually. And she was just very, like, uh, I mean, <laughs> expressive about her breasts. She would show them off. And then there's another time, years, a couple months or a year later. It's supposed to be 2011 with the video chat. Actually, it might have been 2012. Uh, a couple months later, I went to a strip club in Manville, New Jersey. I was a black woman. She said next to me, and she started doing the same thing that she was doing. She would say, oh, these happen, you just don't fit in. This bridge too small. And I started thinking about her. It's like, she's doing the same thing. Is it fucking her? Or is it, you know, is it like a, I want to say representation, uh, for lack of a better word. Or like, you know, someone that's mimicking a whole situation. Because another thing she said, same as thing as she said, she was a dermatologist. And she told me, like, you come to our job. But I like, go to the side or don't go to the front. Maybe it was the house, but I never went to her house. I mean, maybe that time I was there, but I didn't know. She was a dermatologist, and I know she was. And she, I think she was once or twice, or maybe she worked in Linden, New Jersey. Because I remember one time I was there, and it wasn't exactly her, but it was someone just resembled like, like her. Just happened to be a dermatologist. She was just staring at me like that. She, like, she didn't go in the room. She just wanted to see who I was or something. But... At that strip club, it was this, this black woman, and like she just said the same thing. Oh, you know, go outside to the side. We're gonna have a cigarette. And I actually, I went, and I think I went to the front or something like that. And she was just angry. She, I told you to go to the side. I didn't want people to see me. It's the same thing that happened with her. And it's you know, as far as her rest, like I never find her really attractive. She wasn't that pretty. I mean, she was gorgeous. She wasn't ugly, but it's like. Like, I don't really find, you know, up like, you know, I don't want to give a degenerate, a degenerate term about, you know, her breasts. But it's like, it, it just over too much, you know. And, and it's nothing to brag about either. It's like, it's not the, like the, the sexiest thing for me, actually, you know. So, yeah, she, like, a lot of times she tried to, like, you know, mentally suppress, she tried to, like, uh, uh, offend me. And she was very rude and stuff like that, you know. But what stands out is, is those things. And... And yeah, she did. She didn't let me see her. She, she, you know, she showed herself as somebody else. I cleared her house. It was like the delusional game. I thought I was on my bed. And the, the days before, she said, "Oh, if you're in my house, and like, what do you want? A section like the bed or the bedroom?" And she said she had this uh, squeaky uh bed in like a another bedroom of the house. 
and I, I don't know if I, we if I was over her house, we were on there. I think we were in her bedroom actually. But what happened was I didn't. I remember walked into the kitchen. Maybe it was experience of mine, like I was walking around, walked you know somebody else's bedroom. But from my standpoint, and it's true, I was alone in my house. So you know, there. I don't know if someone said she had a daughter. Something happened. I, I really, I don't have no evident memory, but I know it was. It wasn't the most healthiest night or anything ever. And uh, years went by, and I actually think I, you know, I was on Vaughn Live. I don't know what happened. It's like you know, I was going through my. I didn't have it in my cell phone. Or maybe I put out the old phone. And it's like, she liked to be called a B I T C H bitch. And I just said, I don't know if we talk. I didn't give her the, the credence. I just called her a C U N T, a cunt. I was like, fuck it, she gets offended by that. So it's like, you know, you want to degrade yourself to like, you know, a, a different species female dog. But look how you really are, though. And it's still a derogatory term on my part, but it's like, I'm not going to pay no fucking game, call you that just because you fucking like it, you know? You're not that cute and funny. You're not that fucking tough either. Also, the real issue is, if you just don't like me so much, why you want to get like, you know, an ex, ex black bug, talk to me, get a Yahoo check, get my cell phone number, when you don't have the respect to even sh show yourself to me.